YouTube. Today I am going to be showing you all my favorites for the past month. I feel like it's really weird to be in front of the camera because I pretty much have been pre-recording most of my videos so excited to show you I kind of have a lot of things I don't know why I feel like I always say that in every video but this month there's just been a lot of things that I really like and I really wanted to show you so the biggest thing that I have been obsessed with this month is hair removal or just having flawless skin because of good hair removal and I noticed that in a lot of my selfies I felt like I had a really bad mustache like no one else around me noticed it but every time I took a selfie I was like why is my mustache so obvious like I hate it but I knew that I couldn't withstand the pain of waxing that and plus waxing it is just something that I know that I would have to maintain and I'm not about that life and I found this I think it's called Jolene or Jolyn cream bleach it says it lightens dark hair. I got the sensitive formula because I've been having super sensitive skin lately. And it says it's fast, gentle, and effective. It came with a mixing cup. And they definitely were honest when they said that it's a fast process. Gentle, I kind of beg to differ. But otherwise, it's the only one that I've tried so far. So maybe after I'm done with this, I'll find something better. But it definitely got that mustache game right so I feel more confident when I'm taking pictures now because I don't just notice my mustache I'm probably gonna insert pictures so you guys can see how terrible I'm talking about because when I look at it I was just like <laughs> you look like a man oh my god mustache everywhere so many selfies did not make the cut because of the mustache. I also have been just looking for something that really moisturizes my skin because I don't know if you guys can tell but I'm a lot darker than I was. Uh, me and my friends like to lay out in the sun a lot. So I was looking for something that would help my skin to keep it from being leathery if that's a word. But I finally found a lotion that I really like from Bath and Body Works and they had a huge sale so I picked up another tube of it but I like to use the aloe gel lotion I think they only have like a few uh, I about said flavors but I think they only have a few scents of this but I don't really care about that I just like the way that this feels especially after you've been out in the Sun for a long day it just really moisturizing and it just it makes your skin feel amazing so back to hair removal I guess I was looking for something to kind of clean up the scarring around my bikini line I kind of wish that I would have the confidence to do a video over this because mine's been ate up for a majority of my life because after shaving and all this stuff I just I wasn't taught the proper way I guess of hair removal so I've I've made some hair removal mistakes in my life and I asked my dermatologist what would be the best way to kind of clean it up um, just to feel more confident in a bikini and she told me that Mederma was probably the best thing to use so I went to CVS right after and I picked up a new tube of Mederma because I couldn't find my old tube and it's supposed to be used at night it's called Mederma PM and it's intensive overnight um, care. I'll have to do some type of like hair removal video or something so that you guys can see the products that I've been using because I've really been trying to get like lighter underarms, lighter bikini lines, less scarring. Um, and for us girls who have hair that's curly or just coarse and thick, it's really difficult. So whenever I get get right in that area I will be doing a video so the last kind of beauty product that I have is a mint julep mask I show this all the time I love it every Sunday this is my ritual I put this on and I wash all my makeup brushes while I leave it on I usually drink a glass of wine I just love the way that this makes my face look I even have pictures of like a before and after so you guys can see but I notice a huge difference after using this so I try to do it at least once a week okay I didn't know if I was gonna show this with other things that I had but I guess it's kind of beauty related but what I've been using to get a little more tan for the summer is this rapid tanning intensifying lotion 
uh it's called australian gold but you can buy this at like walmart and pretty much anywhere cvs walmart whatevs wherever you shop uh i just like using an intensifier lotion my friends all of us are mixed and they all use baby oil but i've read really bad things about using it so i'm kind of scared to use it i don't think honestly that i ever would because that's pretty much the same as if you threw hot oil in a pan and then so it's like boiling your skin i don't know i know that i burn really bad and i just i don't recommend that for anyone um this works to me just as well it it took me longer than my friends obviously to get to the darkness that i am they're all way darker than me because they've been doing the baby oil thing but i'm too scared so i use this and i feel i feel a little better about it but it really does work obviously it really does work next we're moving on to makeup I am an oily freak in the summertime. I don't know how to explain it, but I have never really used good primers. I've always used drugstore primers, and finally I went to Sephora and was like, I just bought MAC foundation for the first time in like two years, and I never remember it being this oily, but I hate the way to, that it looks. And I was like, I really don't wanna have to buy a new foundation. And she was like, well, what primer do you use? And that's when I was like, uh. I don't really use one so she recommended the makeup forever uh step it's called step one skin equalizer and it's the base uh, mattifying primer this is amazing like i don't know how to explain how amazing this is but if you have oily skin i highly recommend that you try this so next is kind of an oldie but goodie i've had it for months now but and I don't know, it's just perfect, the perfect colors for summer in my opinion. But it's this Ciroc Tantalizer. I picked mine up from Ulta and I seriously am in love with this product. Like the highlight is just perfect for my skin and the, the bronzer for my contour. Like it just goes with my skin perfectly, especially um, to make you kind of just look like the sun just kissed you on the face. Um, I'm wearing it right now. I literally wear it every day, but it's on fleek. I'm obsessed. I'm just... The last makeup product that I really have is actually these lashes. I like to go to Sally's so I can get them in bulk, but it's just the Ardell Demi... I think these are the 120s? The Demi Wispy ones. Are they 120? Hold on. I have, I have a little just a little one yeah the demi 120s that's what i wear because they look super natural and i wear them out i wear them i don't wear lashes every day but when i wear lashes these are the ones i go to so the next product that i want to show you guys actually is fitness related i haven't really been able to test much out because i've been in the process of moving and whatnot but i have been obsessed with my whey protein of choice uh this flavor is this is always the the brand that i get it's always optimum nutrition gold standard whey that's all i trust because i tried a lot of really crappy tasting whey like whey that i spent 30 dollars on and was like i can't drink this and had to to get rid of it so this whey is the flavor vanilla ice cream and the reason that i like it is because one, it really does taste like ice cream, but I'm obsessed with peanut butter shakes from Sonic. And if I mix this with my PB2, oh, it's like heaven. It tastes exactly like it. So every time that I get done at the gym, I'm like, yes, I get ice cream. And then I also like to make um, caramel frappes with it, which I have a video on how to do that. But I, I love this flavor because there are so many options and I feel like it's perfect for the hot weather too because it's like getting your ice cream fixed without eating ice cream. So as far as fashion goes, I have been obsessed with using, I've been obsessed with using these, um, they're nipple covers. So you can buy these anywhere. Like I think they have them at Walmart. Usually they're in different shapes. Um, like you can get flower petal ones. I don't know, but these were only $5. And I bought them just because I was like, I might need these so at some point in time. And literally this summer I have worn them 
so much already because shirts like the one I'm wearing right now, obviously you can't wear a bra with this. Like you just can't. So I wear those underneath and I, I have like probably 10 of these of these shirts because I'm obsessed with them. So I just wear these underneath of it and they have adhesive on the back and you just stick them on so that way if you were to get cold, you're not telling everybody hi. So I really, really, really recommend these um, for dresses or shirts that you can't really wear a bra with. But I do realize like sometimes you just gotta wear a bra. So my swimming game has been on point so far this summer and I've gotten a lot of compliments on the suits that I've been wearing. I'm obsessed with them. So the first one, they're both from Victoria's Secret. The first one just looks like like this. It's like this really pretty color, corally color, and then it has these little gold things on it. I love this one because it looks like like brow ruche I don't know how to say it but it looks bunched up in the middle which I really really like and then on the back it just has another like gold clasp so I really really like this suit the bottoms actually look like they are folded over this is the one that I've got the most quote like even guys have messaged me on Instagram and been like I really want to get that swimming suit for my girlfriend or my wife uh where did you get it so this is from Victoria's Secret at what as well and pretty much it hooks over your neck right here and then it hooks around your back like normal with this one but then there's these two strings on the bottom so it's like gladiator style like I'll just show you like this goes like that so it's like your boob and then another strand if that makes sense <laughs> i'll insert pictures of the swimming suits so you can see what they look like on but obviously when you get them in the mail like i got mine in the mail in the mid middle of winter and i was like these don't look like the picture but then when you wear them you look like the picture. Last fashion thing I have to show you is from my ultimate obsession store. I've been obsessed with Aldo. Like, Aldo, pretty much every paycheck that I get goes to Aldo. It's really bad. But I found these new sandals. Um, <laughs> they're really gladiator-ish, but I think they're really cute. And if you if you could see it, I would show you, but you can't really tell. But these bands are actually all, there's different patterns on each one. Um, it's, I just think that they're really cute because they also have this gold on the bottom. So they're dressier than a regular sandal. So that's what I really like about them. And I like that they're a T at the top and don't go through my toes because for some reason at the gym, my pinky toe wants to lose all of its color. Oh, it must rub on my tennis shoes or something, but my pinky toe is always covered in these, so hey girl, we don't have to worry about that. Last thing that I want to show you is so ratch, but I don't care. It's the ultimate selfie stick of all time. Like, this thing reaches, I think it's 36 inches is how long it reaches. The top of it is like twisty, so you can angle, you get that perfect self-angle girl. And I'm obsessed. It's also Bluetooth. Like, it's Bluetooth. So it makes my life easier. Snapchat game is on point. Like, every time I go places, though, and I'm using it, people are just like, those exist. Yes, batch. They exist. Like, they, they exist. And only the fleekest of the fleek have the selfie game stick. Like, come on. Come on. So... The on and off button is actually on the bottom right here, and then it, you have to charge it. So please believe I got it charged at all times. But me and my friend have a lot of fun at the swimming pool with this. So the pictures that I showed you of the swimming suits, most of them were taken with this bad boy. I got this literally for $20, which at the time I was like, $20? Like, who do you think you are? Girl, you're the best selfie stick in the world. That's who you are. So... <laughs> I seriously love it. $20 Target. It's in the as seen on TV section. So I was going around asking all these people, do you have Sophie? No, we have Sophie. We have the Sophie bubbles, like the thing, the timer for your phone. I don't need that. I need a photographer at all times, which my selfie stick is my photographer at all times. So 
Make sure that you guys follow me on Snapchat so you can see the bangers that I take with this camera. I mean, I take bangers for Instagram with this, or I said the bang. Make sure you guys follow me on Snapchat so you can see the bangers that I get with this selfie stick. Um, he almost snapped me in the head. And also on Instagram so that you can see my selfie stick game action because this, everybody needs this in their life. Hopefully I'll get some more videos up for you guys soon. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon.